If you're anything like me, chances are you have a Raspberry Pi somewhere in your house doing nothing but collecting dust, or you want to stream your favorite games from your computer to your TV. In either case, today I'll be explaining how you can begin streaming games to your Raspberry Pi, and you might be surprised by how easy it is. Let's take a look. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is replicating the functionality of the Steam Link, which as of November of last year, has been discontinued after fully selling out. Luckily, Valve has made the software open and available for use on the Raspberry Pi, so that's what we're going to be using. On the topic of the Steam Link selling out, I was lucky enough to pick it up when it was being bundled with the Steam Controller a while back, but there's no reason to fret because the Pi is going to do virtually the same thing as the Steam Link does. Anyways, the first step is installing RetroPie on onto a micro SD card that will be going into the Pi. Installing RetroPie is super straightforward to do, though it does take a little bit of time. I'm not going to waste any time in this video delving into that to keep it as concise as possible, though I have left a link to the image of RetroPie and a guide in the description. After you've installed RetroPie, you're actually pretty close to having everything fully set up. Hook up a keyboard, mouse, and monitor to the Pi, and then boot it up with the image of RetroPie that I just mentioned. Once it's finished loading, go to the settings. Here you have to click on RetroPie Setup, then click Update RetroPie Setup Script, and after that finishes updating, click on Manage Packages, then click on Manage Experimental Packages. Here you'll have to scroll through a huge list of experimental packages and find the Steam Link package. Select it and then select Install from Binary and Reboot your Raspberry Pi. Once it turns back on, go to the Ports menu and select the Steam Link, and you're basically done. You'll have to go to the PC that you're planning on streaming from and open Steam and then link it to your Pi with a code, but it's all super straightforward and it will guide you on what to do. Also, there's a boatload of streaming settings that you can change on your Pi to optimize your experience, so I would mess around with these a little bit if you're not getting very smooth gameplay. All of this being said, the Raspberry Pi does lack some of the elegance that the Steam Link has. I mean, just look how nice this looks. On the bright side, I did find a 3D printable enclosure on Thingiverse.com that will allow you to make the Pi look a little bit more visually pleasing, so as long as you're okay with putting a little bit more time into this project, you can go that route.
This wasn't very complicated to set up, so I saw no reason to stretch this video out at all. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I almost forgot, a few weeks back I made a tech vlog on a subscriber counter that I made using the Raspberry Pi and a seven segment display from Adafruit. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, make sure to give it a watch by clicking the card in the upper right hand corner. But anyways, I'll see you next week. Thanks.